This video will introduce the batch scanning capability within Apex eBSD. So I'm going to first start by collecting an image of a field of view at a lower magnification. So let's say I wanted to collect this map. And just for brevity's sake, I'm going to select a coarse resolution. So this is going to collect a map with about 30,000 uh, points set up with a velocity uh, camera. And rather than just collect the map as we would for a single scan, I'm going to go ahead and hit Add to Add Batch. That's going to create a batch list here. I can come down here. It shows me the first scan that I'm at a magnification of 200, my stage location, the fact that I'm in a normal mode, my scan dimensions, my resolution, and the number of points. Okay, so then I'm going to go to another field of view. So I'm going to go to a slightly different position. I'm going to go to a different magnification. I'll collect the image here. And again, I could select a different resolution, but I'm going to keep course just so we can see the series of data sets quickly. Hit Add to Batch here. If I look at my batch list, you'll see it's a little bit larger. And my magnification has changed. Okay, and then for fun, I'm going to go to a third location. And... I'm going to do one at a one resolution and say add to batch. And then at the same area, I could go out a factor of magnification or two, collect my image. So it can work at the same position without having to actually change the, the stage and say add to batch and then if I look at this now I have four scans in my batch here at different magnifications different locations and if I wanted to I could also add a freeform scan something like that so maybe I'll add one that looks like this I can add that to my batch and I could also add say a line scan add to batch and if we look at my batch list you'll see here I have a freeform scan and a line scan so now I have uh, six different scans ready to collect uh, and I can now just hit go because we're going to move the stage it's going to give me a little warning to let you know things are going to match I want to go ahead and say yes let's move to that position it's going to run a quick scan it's just going to go through the set here So the scans themselves should be pretty quick with the velocity set up for about 2,500 points a second. And doing a coarse uh, scan, they'll be pretty quick scans. So now it's completed one. It'll now go to the next position and change the magnification. You can see from the overlay on the SEM image to this that it's uh, pretty good alignment and repeatability in the stage. Of course, that will depend on the type of stage you have on your microscope. But in general, the reproducibility is pretty good on the micron scale, which is what we're looking at here. You know, we're doing two micron steps. And you can see as we look at the progress, it's telling us the number of, uh, you know, where we are on the scan list. So we're at number four of six right now. And then this one's going to be our free form. So based on where we've drawn it, it kind of shows us a rectangle. Now it's going to fill in the points uh, that are of interest there. And if I wanted to skip this one, it's a little bit slower to do the free form. And it's going to go ahead and do our line scan. So we have that line scan information. I can hit done, and I can look at the project tree. 
here and you can see it's fulfilled in these area of interest to show you know I did two maps and a line scan at one area all those are here and if I wanted to select one I can just double click on it it'll send that to OIM analysis I also have the option if I wanted to load multiple ones at the same time I could load my project it shows me here uh, basically as a function of time the different ones um, so I can say I wanted to load uh, this one and this one and this one and I can add those and it'll load all three of those at the same time and I can create my maps from each of those different fields very easily.